Hi, I am joined with Erika Schroeder. Schroeder? Schroeder. Erika Schroeder. Okay, and she has done many awesome voice lines from My Valentine to Akiza. And she has been doing this off and on about, what, 20 years now? About 18 years, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So what's it been like being uh, one of the figure faces of, uh, of Dueling History? Because what are the other things that, what most people don't know that you do voice lines for in yu gi -Oh? Um, they, there's a couple of smaller characters that I've played in Yu-Gi-Oh! that people don't know about. Um, but I've been actually in five out of the six arcs. Um, so it's been really exciting. I keep, uh, I keep telling them I want to play like the third spear thrower from the left in, in, in the last one, just so I can like appear at some point. But um, you, it's funny because you said, what's it like being the face? You know, it's like interesting because you're completely anonymous because you're the voice. So you can walk around and just have this like wonderful career that's sort of hidden from everyone until, you know, occasionally someone will recognize. Uh, once I was at the um, Mirai premiere, not the premiere, but we, I was at a screening of Mirai with my daughter who was, who was in it, and a guy in a, a row behind us actually recognized me from a convention. And he was like, wait a minute, are you? And I was like, yes. <laughs> And it was funny because my daughter was like, oh my gosh, mom, you're famous. And I was like, not really, niche famous. But um, it was, it was uh, sweet. But then you come into the YCS because this is not your first time being at one, of course, right? No, this is my third. I did the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, World Championships in Vegas with Dan Green, which was so much fun because he's a blast to be around. Okay. But then what is it like being in the studio working with like Dan and Darren and all the other crew? Like, because of course, I, I guess it's not recorded at the same time, right? Yeah, it's not recorded at the same time. So I do get to work with Darren and I get, do get to work with the engineer, um, Joe Vegas, we call him, because he likes to gamble. Um, and he is a super funny guy. So I work with uh, Darren and Joe a lot and they're wonderful to be around. Um, and we all, have, we all have a lot of fun, yeah. So then, do you see yourself in the future still coming back, doing some more lines, doing some more roles? Of course, you've done some work on the new game, Duel Links. Yes. How has that been like, actually? That was so much fun to revisit characters that I hadn't voiced in a really long time. Um, I actually had just come back from Wizard World, like four days, and they put the voice actors right next to the band, and I was like, after the fourth day, I was like, I'm so tired. And in the 18 years that I had been working, like on and off, that was the first time where I was like, can we, can I do this in like three days? <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, my voice hurts so much. They were so cool. Thankfully, we had a flexible schedule and we were able to just do it a little bit later. But because um, I was like, I want to like really do Akiza right. I don't want to, you know, come in with like half, half mast, you know. So, um but it was amazing revisiting the character and I and I got to have the amazing Darren Dunstan directing me. So it was very exciting. I enjoyed it. Well, thank you, Erica, for tuning on in. Uh, well, for stopping by. Thank you for having a bit of fun with me. Uh, thank you for stopping by for the interview, of course. You've been great. Um, is there any small tidbits that you want to give any expiring voice actors and stuff? Um, study you know like the best thing to do actually is to get on stage and to study acting in a more in a more formal sense because uh, just no understanding how it works uh, in other ways and being physical when you're voice acting is like a huge thing actually um, a lot of us really physicalize what we're doing to make it as real as possible so uh oh look who's here my nemesis <laughs> okay, it looks like Darren is wanting to make his way on, so we'll have him on in a bit. There'll be more coverage after this.